Ciao, I'm Maribel from Taste of Italy. Today I'm going to teach you how to print an artichoke. Make sure you check the description box below where I will add links to recipes you can prepare with artichokes. Ciao. To clean up to three artichokes, you'll need a large non-metallic bowl, one lemon, about two tablespoons of white wine vinegar, a chef's knife, a paring knife, a cutting board, and clean gloves to protect your hand. Now fill your bowl up to three quarters with water and add those two tablespoons of white wine vinegar. Now you're ready to begin. Everyone, I'm going to show you today how we prepare and clean an artichoke. First we begin by using a chef's knife separating the globe from the stalk. And we're going to leave about half an inch to an inch and each side gets rubbed with some lemon. Okay. The stalk is edible and I'll show you in a little bit how we prepare that. So we set it aside now I'm going to remove a fair amount of leaves. I am wearing gloves to prevent my hands and nails from getting stained dark. I would suggest you also uh, don't wear a white, or don't wear a white apron anyway, because those stains just don't come away. The gloves also help a little bit in this particular uh, variety of artichokes that have thorns in them. Okay. I'm going to just keep turning it around and removing the leaves until I see a fair amount of light green. I could probably keep that one. I need to remove that one. Okay, and that one looks two. Okay, now I'm going to rub this also with a little bit of lemon juice. And now I want to trim the top, this part of the stem. I'm going to use a paring knife for this. It's the best knife. Make sure you have a good grip on the artichoke so that you don't cut yourself. Now, if you go slow, there's no way you can cut yourself. So just make sure you go with a firm but careful trim. And we want to save as much of that stalk as possible, okay? It's only the outside dark green area that needs to be removed. This is very much like the broccoli stem. This beauty is ready to be trimmed a little bit further. We're going to Push down with the chef's knife. To remove that top part of the artichoke. Okay, this is all edible and it's all delicious. Again, using a little bit of lemon juice or using a bit of lemon to rub over the cut parts to prevent it to turn from turning dark. Now, uh, we are ready to cut this. Cut it in half. Each half gets some lemon juice on it so it won't oxidize. Then with the paring knife, we're going to dip the tip all the way through, all the way in, sorry. Okay. And we just want to remove the hairs. We don't want to uh, cut away any of the choke. All of the choke is super important. It's very tender and it's actually the best part of your artichoke, okay? That's what that looks like without any hairs in it. And again, we're going to squeeze some lemon juice in there. Keep it from oxidizing. And we're going to cut these when we cut, we want to, it depends on what we're planning on doing. You can cut it in half if you're preserving them. You can cut them in fours if you're 
cooking them or roasting them. And in my case, I'm going to cut them into very thin slices because I'm going to surprise you with a couple of preparations of these. The important thing is to cut them evenly. And just very, very carefully. We take all the cut parts and we push them into a bowl with white wine vinegar. You could also use lemon juice, but I find that I end up eating lemon seeds and that's quite unpleasant. In this end just a little bit more, just so it's nice and fresh and green. I'm going to rub that side. This is the part that was against the globe. This other part it was closer to the root. So I'm going to remove a good part of that. That's tough and dry. And I'm going to use a last bit of lemon to keep that from darkening. And I'm going to use a paring knife to peel away the strong, uh, the tough strings, the tough outer part of this artichoke. And again, if you have a very good grip on the knife, you go slow and careful. You don't have to worry about cutting yourself. Important thing is that with a good grip, your knife won't slide. See, I have very good grip on this knife. It feels very comfortable in my hand. It's the knife that works for me. So when you go selecting, make sure you actually hold them in your hand. Okay? Just want to show you that handle. It's a lot more comfortable than this other knife that is supposedly pairing, but as you can see, it's, it's larger and more likely to slip. Okay. Now I'm going to use a chef knife again to cut this into very thin slices. And probably once I have this video up on my website, I will give you some ideas as to what to do with these. There are lots and lots of things you can do with this. None of this is wasted. Only the little, I'm going to show you what I've been doing so far. Okay. Those are my artichoke slices that are in a bowl. This one's made out of ceramic, but glass or plastic also works. And I've added some, maybe two tablespoons of white wine vinegar to keep them from turning. For example, if you wanted to, see these are the leaves that we discarded, but you can uh, steam them and dip them in butter and eat them the French way, okay? Uh, Italians also use these uh, leaves. We steep them in alcohol and some spices, and then we make an artichoke liqueur, which um, is used as a digestif. I've also uh, steamed these when I don't feel like making that liqueur. And, and then with a spoon, I actually remove this and it becomes part of a risotto or a stuffing. So there are many, many things you can do with them. Okay. And these are our artichokes. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please let me know in the comments section below anything that you'd like me to teach you next. Also, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the subscribe bell so you don't miss any of my following videos. Bye. See you soon.